Hello? Hello, hello, hello! So many people! Hello! <laughs> hi, hi! Once again, Ronnie got first. I didn't, I didn't tell her this time, but meh. Yako, Idris, we got like the whole gang here. Hi, Sept Mumbo, we got raps. Hello, hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? How's, how's everyone? What, what have you been up to? Has your day been going good? Have you eaten recently? Have you had something to drink? You taking care of yourself? <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Today's a uh, limited life session, huh? <laughs> Yes, Megacon tomorrow, which I fucking love. Raps, raps. I love your cosplay. It is so good. I have eaten. Yeah, I know you've eaten. You've, you've eaten a pastry that you made. <laughs> I've D&D tonight, so it's great. Hell yeah. I'm eating right now, but was watching. Yeah, Joel's POV is, is a fucking time. He's in good doodling like normal. Hell yeah, D. Hello, Fox of the Ology. Hello. You're welcome, Bestie. Absolutely. Like, it's one of those things where it's just like, oh, where's that? Where's that con happening? Maybe I can go. And it's like, oh, that's a that's literally a different country. OK, well. <laughs> Anyways, so today we're drawing the bad boys because I did a poll on my discord. And. Uh, let me just let me just look at it real quick. I asked, all right, which which one, which group, which group am, of uh, this current limited life series am I drawing? Yeah, so the Bad Boys is the alliance name between Green Solidarity Gaming and Smallish Beans, and they're called the Bad Boys. It's all very silly and and wonderful. Today's session was so fucking chaotic. The fact that no one dropped into red is a miracle. Like, I know so many people are like, oh, next session, they're going to go to red. And it's like, no, no, red is under seven hours. They have they still got another session where I think everyone is going to be. Under eight. Hmm? Under eight. No, it's under seven. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure. It's, under eight hours. it's it's but it's guys, can someone quickly confirm? Can like someone open one of the first episodes and just see? If it's under seven hours or under eight hours where they turn red? It's an eight hour increment. Eight, 16, 20. Why am I remembering seven then? Maybe you're remembering seven hours and 59 minutes? I mean, yeah, so Subtimumbo says seven. So. Hey, if, if again, if someone wants to go open up an episode, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's under seven hours is when they become red. So I don't think it's going to happen next session unless there's some serious like boogie killage that like another boogie kill on skiz or something. But yeah, just absolute chaos. Anyways, uh, but yeah, so. I asked, which group am I drawing next? It's under eight. OK, also, hi, Viri. Above zero is, uh, yeah, I mean, above zero, obviously. Um, so the, the different groups, right? So we got eight votes for the clockers, six votes, uh, yeah, six votes for the nosy neighbors, 14 votes for the bad boys. And then eight votes for uh, the mean gills. And so, yeah, we're yeah, we, we got to draw them. But the question is. Do I draw them as the Heathers or do I just draw them in the regular bad boys outfit? Um, I genuinely can't decide. Yeah, I had a feeling people would start being like, Heathers, Heathers! But like, I feel like it's been done a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. People want Heathers, people want Heathers. Hey, I'm not fucking complaining, you know? Okay, so it is under eight. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, even so, I 
don't necessarily know. I don't necessarily know if that's like. Uh, if people are actually going to hit it, it's like people only like people who are way down might hit it at the end of the session unless they get like boogie killed. Because that would be a time. OK, let me grab. I just want to see what the front part of the blazers. OK, here's my question. Should I draw them as the heathers in their own pose? Or the heathers looking exactly like the poster I have as a reference? Morgan! Hello! Doesn't mean we don't still love it. True, true. It's very much the, uh... Oh, uh, oh boy, more cake, rather than... What the fuck is... I accidentally knocked something off my shelf. Own pose? All right. And it's, it's, it's also gotta be, instead of the, uh, the, like... The croquet mallets, it's got to be like, um, it's got to be pickaxes, right? Do like behind the scenes shot? No. I think that would be great. No. There we go. Well, I'm like, you have to AU. I have this incredible fucking reference of all of the uniforms. This is so good. I'm so glad someone put this together. Hmm. Bad boys, best boys. But don't call them good boys because they're bad boys. And they would be real sad boys. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, if I'm doing their own pose, this is a this is a trio thing, right? And I had I had this as just like a like an idea and something. I will collapse that down. Are you allowed to talk about Martin? Seriously? Oh, no, no, no. OK, I'm going to actually put this as a pinned message. Oh, you no spoilers. OK, uh, I'm OK. I will try to be as spoiler free as possible, but also. Uh, Morgan, please go watch at least one POV, at least one. And then and then you'll know you'll know about the chaos. <laughs> now, OK, here's another question. If I'm doing my own pose, uh, this is still three characters. So coming up with a pose with three characters just on the fly, a little difficult. Um, would it maybe be better to get one of those, like, uh, draw the, draw the squad kind of memes? I've only watched Pearl and she missed everything. They, okay, the nosy neighbors are the absolute antithesis of their own name. They are not there for any of the big events. And it's so funny. Whose POV is the best to cover it? Mmm. I'm going to say someone from Team Ties or. Or someone from the Bad Boys. Grian probably is a is a solid POV. Um, Scar's POV was also very fun. There is an extra thing in Scar and Skiz's POV that I do recommend watching. Oh, and Martin is required watching. Martin is always required watching. Because his episode was batshit crazy, and then at the end gave us a bit of spice, which is all I will say on that. So, like, Martin is very much a must, especially, especially on the Foxology channel. Uh, watching Martin is very much a must. I'm so normal about his episode. Five. Oh, yeah, no, I am uh, right there with you. Let me look at some. I, I did pick out a couple earlier. Draw the squad. There was one in particular that I saw. That I was just like, this is amazing. Now, where is it? Where is it? 
Yeah, especially because I recently rewatched uh, Martin's Last Life series. So I'm just like, oh, my God. OK. We still want Skiz to either win or be top three, at least. I hope he is. I need Skiz to turn red to take revenge. Yeah, soon. Soon is the thing. <laughs> That's going to be happening so much sooner than we like it. I have an idea. I have an idea for the poses. Okay, Skiz. Skiz is such a genuinely sweet fucking guy. Like all of his, all of his like. Just like, let me fucking have a heart to heart with you. You can tell that shit is so genuine. Also, this music doesn't fit anymore. I was kind of trying to peel off a little a little more chill from the uh here, let's stick with the let's stick with these. Uh trying to peel off a little bit from the harshness of scene queen. Okay, let me see if I can if I'm getting this right. It's it's that one fucking like Heather's pose where it's the arm. I'm I'm going based off of let me actually grab this. It'll fucking load. <laughs> He's so sweet. Yeah. I need to watch his or Pearls later then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Pearls, I will say Pearls is kind of empty. So I would recommend yeah, this post, by the way. I would recommend uh watching Martins because he's in the he's in the absolute thick of it and so is Scott. Yeah, let's try this again. That's such a I fucking love this angle. Pearl for once wasn't the drama. Yeah, imagine that. She went mining and watched everyone die in chat. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just need those sessions, okay? Yeah, that's a that's a good range of uh of POVs. Uh I also I mean, I'm I'm a very much an outlier and should not be counted. I do like watching basically everyone's POV. I think the only person I don't watch, honestly, hmm. Honestly, it's a it's the thing of like it's embarrassing to say, considering how much I just absolutely adore him. But I don't really watch Skiz's episode. I don't know why. I just it's that maybe it's the editing. I don't know. There's just something that just like I don't exactly. I don't know why I don't watch his. I I think I also just kind of want to binge his as well I'm still very new to skiz in general so it's difficult hello she intended to be the drama saw what happened and decided she wasn't needed also hello hi but like you're right you're right and you should say it Yeah, so it's something like that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Impy has gotten better at getting away from fights. Yeah, he really has. Also, and I know this is like still kind of based off of what happened last week and stuff. 
whoever is editing Impulse's videos, um, I want to be their friend. This song uh, is Party Like It's 1929 uh, by the Swing Hoppers and Wolfgang Lore. Yeah, so this is kind of the very, very fucking fashion, and I love it. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, um, if you want this playlist, I don't have it as a command, sorry. It's because it's literally just like a public playlist that I found. It's literally called Electro Swing Remixes. And honestly, there isn't like too many passes on this playlist. Now, do I draw? Do I draw their full body? Or just kind of crop it. Yeah, so it's around here. Electro swing is a very fun genre. Yeah, no, it's a it's, it really is a bop. Yeah, some like and rotate. Have you ever listened to Oreo's Co Clover album? Um, I don't actually know too many people by name. But I can look that up for later. Thank you for the recommendation. I think I know only like, t truly honestly, like two people that could be considered uh, Electro Swing. Everyone else I've just kind of found in these sort of like mishmash playlists so obviously we're gonna have all of these height accurate as well so we've got uh we're gonna we're gonna just quickly line them up and because because this is this is this is very much what I'm like. Joel now Joel is shorter than Jimmy. Is he shorter than Grian? Is my fucking question. Cuz Hmm. Green is the shortest, I believe. Oh, excellent. Which means we can do this. And it won't look so much like a fucking bar graph. Just real quick skill, Jimmy, to be the sheriff. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's a good idea. Hold up, hold up. So we'll just we'll just use this one and just okay, so. Look, it's Jimmy! It's it's Sheriff Jimmy! <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh. Hi, Ari! No, I didn't take the screenshot. <laughs> you didn't take the you can You can make a clip, it's fine. You have the ability to make a clip. Don't complain like a child. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Why? Okay. Oh, goodness. My wife is something else. Also, Caldwin, are you good? <laughs> I, yeah, just, 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 wait, wait, hold up, hold up, just, just little man, little man. <laughs> now, we're going to do, we're going to shrink them down. We're going to put them a little more in like an actual proper staging. Now, do I go oh you got back from the job interview <gasps> how to go how to go they better they better see how amazing you are and have hired you on the spot 
that's the that's the only correct answer for them because you know if they if they didn't do that um uh they would have a whole flock of animals approaching their location rapidly so <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking green, obviously, in the center. Unnaturally well, they're willing to- 18 bucks an hour?! That's so fucking good. Dude! Dude! Holy shit! I really hope you get that. I really fucking hope you get that. I'm gonna make uh, Joel a little shorter because I think he's if you put them like next to each other it's also the thing of like it's hard to uh, have the person in the center be taller when they are shorter uh, Yeah, that's like, that's what's so fucking nice. Can I just talk about this for a second? That's what's so nice about this composition is just the, like, there is such a fucking clear power structure here. And it's so, it's just great fucking picture, amazing choreography, just mwah, beautiful. But it's, it, the thing is, this can only really be accomplished if it's like, yeah, the the characters are all kind of the same height, but the joke in this is that it's Green's a shorty. <laughs> I will be able to spoil the crow even more now. Exactly. That is the correct answer. <laughs> so, and we got Joel, and then we got Jimmy. Joe. There we go. Uh, cool. Great. All right, let's get into this. Oh, Grian, of course, has to have uh, Heather, Heather Chandler's bow. That's like a staple. Listen, the scrunchie is important. <laughs> all right. Let's get all this on a lower opacity and let's start it. I'm very tempted to kind of just dive into it. I might do like a little bit of a uh, sketch of at very least the faces. But I don't think I really will need to do. I don't think I'll really need to do much else. Oh, and they're keeping their sunglasses. They're keeping their fucking sunglasses. That is that is required. Also, don't think you're safe either, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, yes, please spoil my wife. I already have such a hard time trying to do nice things for her without like several years of 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 just nose and like you don't have to and like me. Yeah, that, sorry, that sound. I, I can't do it as well. Oh, a roll of d20. I shall do that. Hold on. That's a 12. A fucking light ticket. What are you rolling? My ability to finish this drawing tonight. Oh no. You got this. You got this. A 12 is solid, you know? I'm going to give him a little a little paintbrush ponytail. Just for the shits and giggles of it, you know? Also to kind of help differentiate from uh Help differentiate from Grian. I think that's important. 
He's gonna have a little bit of scruff because of course. Let's fix up this a little better. There we go. Now I need to figure out how to word my two weeks notice at Starbucks. Yes. Oh my gosh. I really, really hope. I really, really fucking hope. Okay, so let's look at the uniforms. So for Heather Duke. Well, okay, fuck. You know what I'm realizing? What we actually have to listen to. Obviously. Obviously. Like, of course we have to listen to the Heathers. Of course we do. Come on. Hey, come on. Also, this will be the first time uh, Ronnie has listened to it all the way through. Gotta get her into the right headspace, literally. This is the Thunderdome. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> the soundtrack kind of fits the whole death game. It's true. We love the foreshadowing. Yeah, we'll do that in lines. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't. I'm not really. I'm not really here for the for the ponytail. Oh. Something I actually wanted to uh, announce. Brother! Um, if, so if you're kind of following me from TikTok and stuff, uh, you might know some of the bullshit that's happening right now uh, with TikTok and US Congress, blah, 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 blah. Um, ooh, wonkiest time, perfect. So I'm kind of going to be uh, moving away from TikTok and posting my uh, my speed paints on YouTube, actually. So I'll actually be more active on, uh, on YouTube, which is exciting. I, I get to upload shorts now. Ooh. Will it be judged if I admit that I've never listened to Heather's music before? Absolutely the fuck not. That just means you get to hear it now. Because I haven't drawn, like, small Joel before. Only God Joel? I think. Wait, no, 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 that's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's gonna... Hold up. Here comes Heather's. Where is it? As soon as the fucking thing adjusts. Hello, thank you. There it is. There's my boy. There's my boy. <laughs> you won't be judged, but you will love dead go walking. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, it's like. 
so many of the fucking songs are just like super fun. Or Wonk Fox looks like they tasted a sour lemon. Yeah. I really tried, but my hand was slipping while I was doing the mouth, so it turned out even even better. I just I love it so much. What is that? Someone hammering above us? I think. Huh. Have I forgotten how to do fucking side profiles or something? Like, what the fuck is going on? Sorry. Um... <sighs> this is literally the fucking protagonist of a comic I am currently doing. Why can't I draw him? been ages since i've listened to have theirs uh, i used to listen to this 24 same same i i had like a solid three weeks where this was and i mean this literally the only thing i could stomach to listen to oh boy i crave a boon the one phrase that is said in a normal conversation that would get your get you roasted in real life it's true I'll do something better when I'm actually doing the line art. I mean, look at the... Not this one. I can actually... Yeah, I can get rid of this. It's fine. Can I also just say, um, the person who did all of the costume design for Heather's I'm pretty sure they won an award. For good reason. And everyone here could watch. <laughs> Biatch. <laughs>
So I'm going to spawn a million animatics. Oh, this isn't even the worst one. No, the one that actually spawned on a million was um, meant to be yours and Dead Girl Walking. Those were the ones that actually spawned a billion. There's so many. There really are. How did I do Jimmy's hair? Because he has this like funky hair IRL, which is kind of the hair like I like drawing him with. Oh, the glasses, the glasses, the glasses. Dead Girl Walking is a staple of animus. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's great. It's great. Okay. <laughs> Martha deserved the fucking world. Yeah, I'll do this better. Whatever. Shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. It's... Yeah. I get that. I really do get that, honestly. It feels weird to not give Jimmy facial hair at this point. Because it's just like, what? He's just going to be baby face Jimmy? Are you kidding me? Baby face forever. <laughs> yeah, until he, you know what? Yeah, executive decision until he adds uh, the beard to his Minecraft skin. Then he's going to be baby face forever. You think that they have time to shave on the limited life server? That is a good point, but. Jesus, that fucking hammering is annoying. They have swords, don't they? Hi, Star! Listen, I would hope that they're not using the swords to fucking... <laughs> that, that, just, that just feels like it would end up uh, resulting in them losing more time. Because... Let's be, let's be for real for a second. It's Jimmy... It's Caleb and Yasha. <laughs> Seriously, it is literally just that.
can get the, all the sleeves right, too. I think it was a very smart, um, this is, this is absolutely done intentionally because costume design with theater so much is intentional. <laughs> Not anymore. When mom was alive, I can't. That is the funniest sequence of lines in a musical. It's so fucking... Does your mommy know that you do that? Like, ha ha ha. And it's like, not anymore. When mom was alive. <laughs> Alright. Incredible. Look at them. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna just really quickly hit save because I haven't saved this whole time. Whoopsie. Yes, I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. <laughs> just about to remind you. <laughs> okay. Hold up, I want to take like a little bit of a screenshot. I need to share this with the with the juice cult. It's required. Oh, and I'll put it on the Fox Den too, because I know I remember some people couldn't make it through the stream. Oh boy, I guess we're back to this. I don't think Insta knows you're live. Yeah, I didn't post because Insta is fucking also just a just an algor al algorithm mess. I thought I was free. I really did. I really did. You know what? Let's take a quick second and I will I'll do I'll do Instagram just just for the sake of it. Cuz I don't I don't want to neglect the the wonderful Insta gang just because the the platform sucks. I'm I'm going to write in the story. You know what, guys? Say hi to to Instagram real quick. Can I can I get a bunch of We're flooding? No oh my god. You know really? Rules, and so do I a full commitment. That's what, you're... what I'm thinking of you wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just wow. want to tell you how I'm feeling. Got to make you Oh my wonders. god, it's still going. And it's cut off. <laughs> yes, everyone say hi for Insta. Say hi to Insta. There we go. Thank you, guys. And let me put the link. Flash Foxology. I'm coming for you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> also, the delivery of that line of just, you need a jello shot. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> this, this, this fucking musical is just everything. Yeah. 
Hold up. <laughs> I gotta go now, Bestie, but have fun. Heather's vibing. Thank you for stopping by. Mm, hold up. Yeah, why are why would the parents be surprised that we we have to rebel so harshly against them when they are horrible to us? <laughs> There's no alcohol in this. Are you trying to poison me? I swear this musical. Yeah, it's great. Welcome back, Yako. Oh, you guys might know this one, too. There's the green. Oh, this song. Yeah, this song. So there's two two uh, part like basically part one, part two, the, or, you know, in actual musical terms, the reprise. Lots of people know the reprise, too. Okay, there was an audio that went around TikTok a long time ago when I was still into, like, heavily into Heathers and stuff. And every fucking time with this song is, I'm snapping off your fucking cock. I don't know why, but my, it was, it was just something that got ingrained into my brain. And every time I hear it, it's that. <laughs> Listen, oh. how else are you going to hit the high notes if someone isn't snapping off your car? Serious. <laughs> of course, the innuendo is definitely intentional. Oh, well, yeah. I've... We're associating life series characters with songs from Heathers. Who would be? Oh, Jimmy uh oh my god lifeboat absolutely <laughs> i feel mm, hmm i feel like i feel like scott though it would be fun if he was lifeboat just because of you know water themes Sans laugh for a while. <laughs> the joke ridiculous really Sonny Bone Boo. Not the Sans jokes. Also, hi Kittle. How you doing? How you doing? Ooh, fix that, John, a second. I just want to get the angle of the chin right. Oh, yeah. I remember listening to the soundtrack before watching a recording. Uh, I had no idea what happened for this song.
Hmm. Oh, this song. Oh, I finished another limited life POV. It's it's so fucking good. It's so genuinely good. And I do highly recommend if you um <laughs> I love I just, I love, I love the song. It's so ridiculous. Um, yeah, people gotta watch, people gotta watch Martin's POV though. Sorry. If I feel, if I sound a little spacey, um, I am, I am a little bit uh, self-medicating because of pain. So brain is a bit fuzzy. Have you eaten before meds? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I made myself I've I have found a new sa uh, like safe food that is the safe food kind where it's the only thing you want to eat. And it's literally just like egg sandwich with cream cheese and a cold cut. It's uh... Yeah, shit's like perfect fucking consistency and it just it's very good. Getting my list of Joel ready for soon. Wait, what? Oh, jokes. I'm like, list of Joel? <laughs> I forgot about that line. And they're touching me. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, this song. Oh 
me. How many details I've forgotten about this? Same! Ah. Ooh, that hand is great. Me and my bestie still stick this together. <laughs> My hearing Fox Den theater night. Oh my god. That is. Oh no. I would happily watch that and clap very vigorously and very excitedly at everyone else's performance because you cannot pay me to perform in front of people like that. And I do mean that. It's, it's one of those things of like. Like, oh, I'll set it as a sub goal, or oh, if, he, if someone donates. No, you cannot give me enough fucking money to ever sing in front of people like that. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't do that shit. Mm -mm. Oh, watching, not performing. Oh, yeah, no, obviously. We've talked about doing movie nights. It's literally just, I need to organize one and then find a fucking day to do one. I'd be down for that, though. I, I, I very much am going to just be adding the sock pudge because, um, you can't stop me. That's some part fun. Listen, much is much is very important, okay?
We love the casual homophobia. Sport. <laughs> Darian, hello. We're jamming out to some Heathers. Let me check the shoes. Oh, do each of them? Don't tell me each of them have the different shoes. Fuck. Why do all of them have different shoes? God fucking... Ugh. Lee! No worries. Welcome, welcome. Just casually fucking kills two people and then is just like, I worship you. Just by the way. The sheer amount of people who, mind you, this was also a lot of minors, which was extra concerning when this fucking first became popular. The way so many fucking young girls were like, holy shit, I want a boyfriend like JD. And it's the thing of, listen, I know you're a child, but this is very much the thing to get reading comprehension in. Ah, yes. I love my dead gay son. <laughs> Perfectly normal. <laughs> I have to be different to make that clear. I don't. I don't even watch others, but JD is a terrible human being. Exactly! JD is a textbook, like, absolute, unhinged, needs, needs help, needs so much fucking therapy, because goddamn. It's the point of the, <laughs> of the movie and the point of the musical. It's the point of the whole story. Is just, hey, people like this are red flags. JD is the kind of person you really don't want to date. JD is the kind of person you don't want to have as a friend, to be frank. Um, cause, uh, just, yeah, no. That was one hell of a fishing trip. I don't know why I'm doing so much fucking detail on the laces. It just... Like, why? It looks nice, but also why? <laughs>
You don't want someone like that anywhere near your existence. Yes, absolutely. They brought more dye to color all the flags that they had read. I mean, yeah. You know the trick with setting the layer to outline? Of course I do, but it doesn't get the same kind of a... doesn't give the same look because... It only adds the outline, because look. Let me make a new layer. So here, here's just that, right? And then if I make the outline black, it's all the same. It's all the same like width, and that's not the look I want. This song is also really good. <laughs> it was the textbook definition of you can't fix him. Yeah. <laughs> it's it is it is the musical of example A of no, you can't actually uh, make him better. Oh boy. Yes. Woo. We have a Joel. We have a Joel. Modern JD is definitely a modern <laughs> incel Reddit page. Facts. Facts. He, yeah, very much specifically just like. Uh, 
it's like not even I don't even think that he's on like full incel because he does get bitches. I, I, I do imagine, unfortunately, he manipulates girls into, you know, getting bitches and stuff. But like he he is still very much like he's the I'm going to ruin your fucking life by talking to me kind of. No, wait, he's an Andrew Tate fan. Yes. Yes. All right. Oof. That looks really good. All right. I'm annoyed that it's like the shoes are the nicest fucking part. I'm going to I'm going to do like a little more detail. And this fucking song. I love this song. I have it on uh, a couple of character playlists. What you doing over there? Hey. Hey. Yes, you. What are you up to? You, you can't just do a little nya gesture gesture when I'm asking you what are you doing? That's not an answer, baby. Okay, yes, come here. Yeah. That's not... Okay. Banned. Banned. Banned from my... Did you just try and take my pen? No! No, that's not allowed. Ugh. Why are you so fucking feral tonight? Jesus Christ! My wife is on some shit. Ugh. I have no idea what's going on, so it's just okay. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to Fan Art Friday. I'm currently drawing um, a bunch of block game characters, namely these three fuckers as the Heathers. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy, Lee. Uh <laughs> Oh, the glasses, the glasses, the glasses. Now, should the hair be over? What are the Heathers? Yeah, bad boys. What? Who knows? I mean, bullies primarily. So. Did I just say fuck fingers? Pause. Uh, huh? I like that, drawing them. Still, uh, phrasing.
<laughs> you should definitely fuck fingers after this message. Morgan! Morgan TOS! Morgan TOS! <sighs> God, one of my bots to scream at me. My work here is done. Oh, jeez. Uh, glasses from the side. I can literally just take off my glasses to check, which is great. There we go. Kindergarten boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, this this song is so like genuinely sad. Hold up, hold up. Let's get this actually like the correct fucking angle, because if that's supposed to be. You know what? Hold up, hold up. Let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just quickly draw the fucking. Eh, close enough. This is a bit short, but it's fine because it's going to be foreshortened anyways. Here's a milkshake, sorry for the non child friendly shake. <laughs> child who curses a lot. <laughs> Yay, milkshake! <laughs> yeah, this is very much an adult space for my streams. Are you telling me that popular Twitch streamer Foxology is not? I am not, in fact, a fucking family friendly streamer. <laughs> Got in, knock, knock. And then there's this song.
Like, this song is so fucking... This is the first song I ever heard, also, of uh, this, this musical. Asmods uh, didn't get any formal training in dealing with children. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I still sing along with the whole thing. I don't know what to think about that. Listen, it's a the, it's a bop. <laughs> I used to work at a school, so I, t I can teach you, Colin. <laughs> I mean, hey, Morgan, I mean, I might be mod op opening mod uh, application soon, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I've been I've been talking about opening uh mod applications for a bit. Just cuz like especially for the Discord, the community's getting big now. And it's it's the thing of I I need people in uh a lot of different time zones because I'm I'm accumulating a bunch of people that are just already active like hours before I'm awake. So I'd be appreciated if Fox just told us be mods and we just went, okay. Listen, that's that is the case with you, Ronnie, and Wild. But that's because of like we were friends and I was also very small back then. So meh. <laughs> yeah, you did apply, which is also why you got it, so. There we go. There's Green. There's a G Man. Man's got a face, yes. If I do become a uh, the Daily Morgan horror advice can become an official thing. <laughs> Can I go destroy Crumbot? Go for it. <laughs> Only the one in Empires. You can you can you can destroy the one in Empires. The one in uh the one in uh uh my brain is not working. Society! <laughs> Sorry, I just I'm hearing this song in the background and I'm forgetting how to make words. Not alone, take this sword. It's not official already. Exactly.
I wish I had more TNT. Me mining out uh, it, things in. Uh, I mean, uh, me me when me when I me when I. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Hello? Oh, that was the program doing an autosave. Fuck sus. I'm... What am I sus for? Hold up. What am I sus for? Why am I sus? I mean, I am, but like, why am I... Why, how, why am I being perceived as sus? <laughs> TNT. TNT. <laughs> Listen, if you follow me on Sovereign's SMP, um, I mean, I, I, gunpowder, I just, gunpowder. <laughs> Server supplier, baby. Destruction. Also, I'm finally recording the next episode of Sovereigns. I've been doing just a lot of like planning and stuff and I had uh, other things to focus on. So it was just like, oh yeah, I have a fucking Minecraft YouTube series to finish up and stuff. D blew me off. It's a new series for me to watch right there. <laughs> Wait, what? You did? Oh no, don't tell me notifications are broken. To your YouTube. Oh, cool! <laughs> I was like, wait, you subbed on here? Huh? I got very confused. But thank you for following me on YouTube. Oh, so it was a, it was like a side breasted. Okay. Where did that come from? Oh. oh, that's it. We finished. My gosh. And now back to the top. No. Uh, let's go into. Let's use a. Uh, let's use some chill music. Where is it? Hello. Where are you? 
There it is. Jesus Christ, why is it all the way down there? Anyways. <laughs> I do not. I do not sneeze like a kitten. How dare you? How dare you? No comment. Sh shut the fuck up, Ronnie. Yes, you do, you do that. Shut! No. You have lost mic privileges. Go away. No, it's You've true. Lost they mic don't sneeze like a kitten. <sighs> they sneeze, sneeze like, like a, a fox. kitten fox. If you have heard a fox sneezing, it's identical. I'm being put on blast. This is a crime on my own stream. And I heard that TGS at the same time. Gosh. Before, be careful before you scream like a fox. I got some bad news for you. I already do that. Oh boy. Focused. Tracy's like, boy, now that I found you like a man that didn't come out right. I fucking love that. Uh, that Oh, that was a vine, wasn't it? Okay, here is a question for uh, fellow miners and crafters. Um, what... What do you guys think that Mojang is building up to in terms of the kind of world lore? Because they've, the, the whole archaeology thing with all of the vases and stuff, pottery for a very long time was how people shared stories. And the paintings they would do on pottery was about these kinds of stories, right? Yeah, just go have fun in D&D! &D. Yeah, history and backstory, exactly, exactly. So it's the thing of, like, what do you think they're, they're like, what do you think the story is? Because I have ideas, and those are the ideas that I'm putting into It Spreads. Um, but it's like, I just, mm, I have so many thoughts. I think it's going towards the lore, yeah. Oh yeah. I think they're doing it, uh, it to make players think about the history of the world in order to build more. I hope so. Got that from Game Theorist. Some sunken, destroyed uh, civilization, obviously, but I can't think of specific thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very interested in, like, what... Because we can almost, like, guarantee guess at this point of how um, the, the big fucking central frame in the center of ancient cities is like a portal frame and we're probably going to get a new dimension in like one of the future, uh, one of the future versions. And it just... Hmm... Oh yeah, Minecraft Legends uh, is something very, very interesting, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna be incorporating some of the stuff that uh, I kind of hypothesize from Minecraft Legends into uh, its spreads. Which it actually is going to be a kind of not exactly brought up in, in Tango's chapter, but 
I might I might leave that for like a special uh what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Exposition. Exposition kind of a ramble that I'll include at some point in like uh in like the PDF version or something. <laughs> ah yeah i i hope people enjoy where i'm kind of going with it because i am very much like it's like yes this is a hermitcraft story but it can also be just a general minecraft story yeah i'm just kind of using uh hermitcraft as a bit of the vessel Trying to fucking think of what Grian's shoes would be. I don't think they'd be exactly like this. Hmm. Thank you for the save reminder. Family purchase. What? The heck's a family purchase? High heels, no strap. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Oh! Morgan! This is just early bribery for when modifications open up. It's your candy I... corn shaped tears. It's. My what? Hi, weirdness! My what? Shaped what? <laughs> living up to your name, living up to your name for sure. But seriously, thank you for the sub, Morgan. The Jimmy, uh, then where he, whoa, 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 whoa. Then Jimmy wears straps because it just feels right. Yeah, I am going based off of, uh, off of, uh, they're McNamara's shoes, so these kind of like sort of rockabilly kind of shoes. And these two shoes are pretty similar. Hmm. And then we have like the hot red here. <sighs> shoes are weird. I'm tired, so I'm going to live up to my name. Hey, it's great. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually give them just the same shoe, essentially. So I think that that was kind of the whole thing was that uh, Heather... Heather? Okay. Heather Duke was mimicking Heather Chandler for, like, a lot of things including the shoes and why like the hair was very similar and stuff like that. Cause I could sub to Shovel and Scott, for example. Hmm. I wonder if it may be because, uh, I mean, I doubt it, but it's like my streams are marked for mature. And oh, now that doesn't mean shit. Um, their accounts aren't set to non-PG. I mean, yeah, because they are, they are like the, you know, safe account. Well, Shelby's, Shelby's is half and half, really. She can be PG, but most of the time when it's just her live, she is not. She very much is not. Yesterday, I, I got to witness her uh, teaching Sausage how to say, like, wanker and uh, tosser and just... It was a mess. It was great, though. It was great.
Can't stop playing the web version of T <laughs> Oh no. Hey babe, hey babe. You might have someone to play TCG with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining this very much just you two like grabbing at each other just like you you play it <laughs> yeah now that my hand has been feeling better on a consistent basis basis more consistent basis it's still a bit hand wavy but you know um i'll be able to stream more reliably now so yeah Oop, that's the wrong way there we go so i might need like more moderators and stuff so we'll probably be opening the mod applications relatively soon Oh, big, uh, big caveat of applying for mod is you have to be over 18. Just because you need to be able to go on the Discord, which is also only 18. 18 plus. So that is, that is the main caveat. Shoes. 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 Shoes for you. Should I go to bed? I mean, what time is it where you are? Because if it's like 2 a.m., then yes, go to sleep. If it's midnight, yes, go to sleep. If it's 11, eh, do you have shit to do tomorrow? You should probably go to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep then. <laughs> Jesus, it's late. I appreciate you wanting to hang out, but like, take care of yourself. Nah. <laughs> Don't let the shoes be another faucet scenario. Shut! Shut! You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> no, I'm only doing the shoelaces as like a little nicer. It's make me. You forget. You forget. I can just unmod you. <laughs> Could you imagine? If that's an actual fucking threat. Oh, you're teasing me slightly? You, my moderator, who I trust and are my friend? Immediately banned, blocked everywhere. <laughs> That's the whole thing of like, imagine not being able to take what you dish out as well. Because I've met people like that and they're just so infuriating to be around. I seem to be out of hydration. Give me a minute. I have a fired big cup of water. Let me sip. Oh, fuck. Water's so good. Ugh. Yum. I'm actually uh, going to head to the washroom for a second, so stare, stare at this for now. I'll be right back.
Why are we starting forest fires? Also, hi, sorry, I, I realized I had chalky milk. So I grabbed the chalky milk. What, why are we starting a tar pit? What is... <laughs> what is going on? What do I come back to? Why is arson being committed? <laughs> mm. Yummy, yummy chalky milk. Nom, nom, nom. I will share with the chat so long as you don't start a tar pit fire. <laughs> what a weird request. What a weird request for me to ask of my chat. Please don't start a tar pit fire in my stream. That'd be good. That'd be nice. There we go. I already heard it's bad for a child's development. Fire is great for kids. It builds character. I see. Ah. <clears throat> Half of my chalky milk went on my face. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look how you turned out and say that again. <laughs> yeah, I was just straight up going to be like, I mean, look at someone like Zuko or Shoto Todoroki. Fire and children, great combination. Great combination. That was such a loud gulp, Jesus Christ. Let's give him a smile. I got some of the cho uh, chocolate milk. Uh, I won't stick a fork in the outlet. Have the chocolate milk. <laughs> Where is the water bucket? Oh god, it's approaching the forest! Mm. Hold on. Oh God, there's so much fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
You are all grounded. No more arson for six weeks. Oh, God. I need now someone to remember six weeks from now. Six weeks on Friday. On the Friday, six weeks from now. You guys have to start another fucking fire. Like, it, you, you just have to do it now. Okay, but what if I, what if I just, just give him slick back? <laughs> terrible, terrible. Uh, I've drawn Jimmy before, right? Yeah, I've drawn him a few times, I think. Let me look. Oh, I've only ever drawn him. No, wait, okay, I have drawn. Y'all want to know what the only the what the only piece of art I have of a uh, profile of Jimmy. This is one of them, which is it doesn't show enough of the hair. Uh, the other one is Empire shipping. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I'm just going to give a quick warning for that right now. If you're not comfortable with the uh, Empire shipping, specifically with these two in particular, uh, look away for a couple seconds while I go look at some hair. Hold up. It's taking a while. There we go. I'm only here for the hair. I'm only here for the hair. <laughs> The matches on the tall shelf now since you want us to start fires. I'm I'm only here to look at this part. We're not we're not looking at anything else, okay guys? Throw the matches on the roof. Just throw the matches on the roof. Yes, yeah, so I don't like that. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> I'm good at parkour. That's it. I like Fwimmy. What can I say? I like, uh, friends to enemies. To friends. To enemies and lovers and friends. It's so pretty. Sark! Thank you so much. Also, hi! How you doing? I'm currently struggling with Jimmy's godforsaken hair. This and then the yeah yeah I had the little because his hair is kind of like a fade. Are these your OCs? Nope, <laughs> definitely not. This is up, uh, but you're 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 tuning into Fan Art Friday. So I'm currently drawing some fan art of some block game characters of some popular YouTubers that I like. <laughs> These are the bad boys. The 666 goal. Of course. Listen, that was the next logical number. I don't know what a, I think I came up with something for 666. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Jesus Christ, what's going on with the back of your skull here? Too much, too much head. <laughs> No one take that out of context, please. Vampire game? Mm. Yeah, it was uh, Vampire the Masquerade, isn't it? So no head?
That chocolate milk was exactly what I fucking needed. Goddamn. Listen, listen. Joel will already tell you, mans get snow bitches. <laughs> so. <laughs> You drew uh, whoever this is so pretty. Oh, there's even more on the facial now. Yeah, so it's a trio. So for context, Zark, uh, we're, go we're doing basically Heathers because this trio, these, this is the trio. They're the bad boys. That is literally what their group is called because they're silly. And they're very Heathers coded. So... A, lar a large part of the fandom was just like, oh my gosh, they would be the Heathers. So I'm doing that. Um, and it is very, it is very silly. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm G. Green. Yes, he is, he is Heather Chandler right here in the center. Because of course he is. <laughs> Listen, I just think, I just think... But these three deserve to be in skirts, okay? Slay, exactly. I don't know the others. Oh man, uh, I highly recommend watching Limited Life. If you if you enjoy Green and want more of his content, these are the two chuckle fucks that are in his alliance. So the one I'm currently drawing is uh, Solidarity Gaming, a.k.a. Jimmy, a.k.a. Timmy. Uh, he is very much the Heather Magnuma of, uh, of this trio. And is notorious at dying in Minecraft. To the point where it's a curse. <laughs> it's basically become a curse. He pretty, at least in your art. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, kind of the modus operandi. Is just make them fucking pretty, because why not? I'm excited for when I finish commissions. I'm going to be working uh, a little more full time. Modus operandi, yeah. Is that what I said? Or did I missay it? Uh, but yeah, once I'm finished commissions, uh, I'll be able to focus on other projects. Like, I'm going to be doing a Sheriff Jimmy animatic, which I'm very excited for. Because I've been planning this for a little bit now. So it's like, oh, ho, ho, it's going to be silly. I just don't know the term. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's literally like mode of operation that's that's the literal translation it's just like me saying it's like yeah that's how i that's how i do things yeah uh <laughs> it's I, I have a couple of animatics in mind uh including one for it spreads but yeah the the jimmy one is going to be based off of the opening of uh one of his more recent episodes where when he started his villain arc, basically. It's past two a.m. You should sleep. 
Every MCYT gets baby girlified. You're true. You're you're true. I mean, you are. You're right, though. This is true. That is what I meant to say. Nah. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to tell you to go to sleep or not. Will I tag either Joel or Jimmy in this? Probably not. Am I tempted to? Absolutely. But what's the point if Grian doesn't see it as well? Hello, cool cat. How you doing? Do I finish my crochet project or do I try drawing pretty boys? Hmm. It really does depend. I mean, do you want to draw more or crochet more? And I know that's an entirely unhelpful question, but... Green's too elusive. I mean, Green also fucking hates Twitter as well. So... And I would only really be tagging them on Twitter. Because we all know that uh, most of the creators are absolutely too coward like to ever traverse tumblr and instagram eh, i don't want to touch instagram's tagging system whatever your hands are feeling because i got <laughs> got to choose a lot of the time yeah You're grateful that they leave us poor souls on Tumblr alone. I mean, only some of them do. We got we got the fun people though on on Tumblr. We got we got Cleo and we got Joe. <laughs> it would be hilarious for Green to have a Tumblr. Here's the thing, I don't doubt he has a Tumblr. I think he just has a. It's private. I just think it's a private Tumblr. Because Mans could not have come up with all of this fanfiction-esque shit by just existing on Twitter. He also probably has an AO3 account. Like, you, you, can't, you can't convince me otherwise. I want to draw like you. I'm jealous. How do you draw like that? It's practice. It's literally, I've been doing this professionally for uh, a solid almost decade now. So it's literally just about practice and to keep doing it. Morgan is dominating me dot 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 in Hermitcraft TCG. <sighs> Can you please, as a mod, respect TOS? I am begging. <sighs> but also, go Morgan. Uh <laughs> oh, yeah, this one is back.
Oh boy. Wonkiest. <laughs> Look at yourself as an individual and say that again. <laughs> yeah. Ro Ronnie, they've got you there. Like... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know, um, don't know what TOS means, but uh, terms of service. Like Twitch's terms of service, you know, the one that says, hey, no NSFW content and stuff like that, or no, no uh, explicitly adult content or whatever. Because that shit can get a stream banned. Capitalist speak for no fun, basically. I mean, it's there for at least some good point of, like, it's there so, you know, you can report Nazis and shit. But only only Nazis who stream to, like, a small audience. As soon as that Nazi has a big audience, Twitch suddenly can't do anything about it. Or can't find ev any evidence. And the fact that you can't tell which content creator I'm talking about is the problem. <laughs> as tired as I am of doing crochet, even though I haven't done it that much, I'm going to finish it so I don't somehow accidentally break it valid. Listen here, comrade, in this chat. You will learn the evils of the capitalist system little by uh, yeah, bit by bit, little by little. Um, yeah, I here's the thing too. Um, again, this is this is all stuff for when I am done with con with this wave of commissions is I'm going to be doing more uh, art streams on that other platform, that other art platform that starts with a pick and then ends with an Ardo. And it's 18 plus only, like strictly 18 plus only. Um... But yeah, those those streams are going to be coming back, so that's that's exciting. But yeah. Yeah, look at them. Oh, they look great. Oh, they look great. Let's give some Let's give some definition. I think Green has very thin legs, so. Uh, not that one. Not not Picard like the. Like uh the uh. The, the fucking captain. It's the, yeah, if you're over 18, you can join the Discord, but I don't actually know if you, wait, are you, I can't remember if you've mentioned already, sorry about that. What if I'm not over 18? Uh, if you're not over 18 and you try to join my Discord, you're going to be banned. Uh, no chance of ever entering it afterwards. Even if it's like, oh, I joined when I was like 17 with just a couple days away. I don't give a shit. 
you can only join my Discord if you are over 18 at the time of joining. Yeah, very zero tolerance. This is 100% just for minor safety. It's the thing of like, this is not a space for minors in any capacity on my Discord, so. Eighteen, feel free to join, but until that happens. Of course, I'm giving the skirts definition. They gotta have a nice drop shadow, you know? Shadows gotta be stark. I, I also just like enjoy giving my lines a little more weight where there would where there's like natural shadow and stuff like here. It's just it it gives them a little more of a pop, you know? Gotta have that flair, exactly. Make sure I'm closing off any gaps as well. Yeah, for for the art that uh, I post online, that it's fan art specifically of, in this case, MCYT, anything I post on Twitter is stuff that I am 100% okay if the, it's, it's not 100% okay, but it's the thing of if the, if the content creator stumbles on it, they stumble on it, and that's just how it works. Um... But if I don't tag the creators, it just means that it's like, hey, this this one isn't targeted to you. It's just kind of using your character. Like uh, this one down here. That one is uh, very much just for the fans. Funk shaking is funky. Thank you, thank you. Faces are a fucking challenge for me. So I'm glad that it's like, hey, the hard work is paying off. Yippee! <laughs> oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, get some slip. Is late for you. Thank you for stopping by, though. Hope you have a good sleep. Now, for color, I'm not really going to be doing much uh, in the way of original color. I'm going to be using more gradient mapping and just kind of color code them more than anything. So it doesn't take seven eons because uh, I'm just slowly feeling, oh, oh my. Who is that? Inky Love, thank you so much for the follow. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Fox, wish me luck. My DM is gonna have us work on puzzles. Oh no. <laughs> oh buddy, good luck. I believe in you. You'll be able to do at least a little bit. You might roll well. <laughs> You might get lucky and roll. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think of like the muscles of the leg and stuff. I think ham swings. Hello.
Yeah, good luck with the brain. Good luck and may the brains help be with you. Indeed. We'll try not to brute force the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, good night. Good night, Lee. Alrighty. Well, that's looking pretty deep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I knew I was forgetting something. It's just, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oopsie. But it's not a package. <sighs> I think I might do a stream of uh, working on maybe even like the first page of um, Skyfell when I actually start doing that. I think I might actually stream that just as a little like preview for you guys. Because the first page is a, is a doozy. Uh, I was actually saying pretty straight, but uh, thanks for the posture check anyways. Thank you for leaving with Wonk. Good luck with D&D. I believe in you. Sure, that's not exactly clean, but it'll do. Yeah! Okay, cool. Now I'm comfortable with the lines being done. That was all of my points. <laughs> that one with Ren Ren, and I can't remember his name, but he's pretty... What? I'm so confused. Wait, when Ren... Eh? Maybe having a bit of a brain fart moment. Okay, I'm gonna fill them out. Look at those silhouettes. Look at those silhouettes. Phenomenal. Oh, Win. You're talking about Win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Win and Skyfell gang. Yeah, actually, um, sure, I'll spoil it. The first page is very much focused on Wynn. So, feel free to hop on that. Look at that. That's such a good fucking silhouette. Amazing. Phenomenal. Yeah, so the comic, the original comic is called Skyfell. And I have been working on it for a stupid amount of time. Okay. Let's get the thing going. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Too, too pale? Too pale. Definitely too pale. I do like that. That's a bit better. Need white to be able to stand out. What are you planning on streaming? Oh, this isn't for a while. This honestly wouldn't be for a while. It's more just like, I like thinking out loud, like future plans and stuff, as especially for something like this, it's uh, lots of scheduling goes behind it, so. Ah. Yeah, also there still is uh, writing that I have to do in order for me to get really started on it. And here's the thing, here's the real, here's the real thing. You are going to be able to see the creation. Oh, that's why. I was like, why the fuck does it look like this? You're going to be able to see the very first page being created. You are not, however, going to be watching or seeing in the next couple of days the actual release of the page. Because this is a long form comic, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the, oh, 
Oh, no, that's fine. I'm going to be showing you the first page and you're not going to be seeing the actual post of it for a couple of months. Ah, oh, Zark, thank you so much. Oof, way too dark. Yeah, that's so behind the fun behind the scenes stuff of comics, uh, especially like web comics. You always want to be like at least, and I mean this, at least two pages ahead of what you're posting. At very very least. So yeah, it's for me my my comfort zone, especially because of how long these pages are going to be taking, is going to be at least twenty pages ahead. So. <laughs> Yeah, Dervacat. All right, all right, all right. Um, now I need this. Oof, way too late. Yeah, so I'll be doing the coloring for this a little bit like how I do with its spreads which is to say color gradient mapping. Except I'll, I'll be making them custom so that uh, everyone here ha is like color coordinated. Ooh, geez, I'm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, if you're coming in and you don't know what uh, my It Spreads comic is, uh, essentially it's another fan comic based off of Hermitcraft. Um, and essentially the way I've done it is that it's like mostly black and white, save for kind of like a bluish shade as well. And yeah. Tried reading a little bit of it. Yeah. So it's it's that it's that kind of a look, except I'll be doing it with like, you know, red hints for greens and then yellow for jimmies, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, geez. I didn't see this last time. Or when I was getting rid of everything. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit cleaner. If to see this art, I mean, if they do, okay. If they don't, also okay. I don't particularly care. I mean, yeah, all of this is going to be extremely messy. I'm, I'm not doing 
clean color yet. I'm literally just blocking colors. Oh my god, it's not if this been layer locked. Oh no. Yeah, uh no no need to kind of backseat artist. I I am uh I do know in fact what I am doing. <laughs> Make Green's jacket like a darker color, just so it stands out a bit more. And this is white. I think I'll leave that trim like a lighter color, just so it pops a bit more. Yeah, I think that'll look good. And then, I'm gonna stick with that same color for this little pal. And then the inner core, I think, are like darker. I'll do the laces by hand just because they're not exactly a uh, regular translucency so or red regular like cleanish lines eh, there we go oh now this one is like a lot darker I think her shoes are almost just completely black Which makes my job easier. She's got gradient socks, sorta, like they're like stripe gradient. Hmm. Eh, I'll do it by hand. Fine. Just hopped on the Discord. Yay! Welcome, welcome to the Discord. I'm just gonna lurk here until I fall asleep. Eee. I'm I'm happy that you're enjoying the vibes. Have a good sleep. Oh, that's way too dark. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, I think that that works. Got a tad darker. Yeah. Something like this I think works. Yeah, just because it is like a high saturation. Hmm. Now, this is pin straight. So let's also do that. And I'll do it after, actually. Let me fill everyone else's stuff out first. I am just straight up gonna like fake a fake a gradient. With a bigger brush would be good. 
There we go. Perfect. Yeah, gradient socks. Now, all of this is just going to be very, very light. Which isn't great for uh, the gradient mapping, but we'll figure something out. The belt is dark at least. I think I'll, I'll make it like light color shoes for that. I think that makes sense. Oh, my roommate's got me a chocolate shake. Oh my God, I'm jealous. Yeah, that looks good. All right, and then it's just put like a plaid thing, but hey, we have a base. Now, let's make the background a bit darker. Just for now, just so there's a bit more contrast. There we go. All right, let's clean all this up and then we'll do the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the patterns. Yeah, I'll I'll do the uh the colors on a separate layer, I think. Okay, I'm gonna head out, have a fun stream, y'all. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Didn't mean the caps lock. It's fine, it made it funny. What's the name of this song? It's literally a fucking KK slider song. It's literally buttercup KK slider. A clay case slider. Mm -hmm. Let me just fix the shoes.
<laughs> it is very much a shit-eating grin, I will agree. <laughs> he looks good and he knows it, yes. He's like, listen, the leather jackets, they were cute. You know what's cuter? Three, three color-coded skirts and blazers. And also, uh, croquet mallets. Because, uh, you know, they can be weapons. <laughs> he he really does and he's already rocked uh he's already rocked the miniskirt before with Ariana Grande so i mean it's not a it's not a difficult uh, leap of the imagination he's just like that <laughs> The leather jackets were fun but thy eyes strike fear into the soul it's true if these three fucking rolled up to the next session with matching Heather's outfits, everyone would be too fucking scared of them. For, for the first time in Jimmy's life, they would be scared <laughs> of him. <laughs> All right. Now, pinstripes. I'm going to actually... I have, a, I have a brush that I can use for this. I remember where it is. Right. Let's see if this works. I think I'm going to need a new layer. This is not helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna head out and do some hope. Yes, good night, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Citizen Dr. Wild. I can't be bothered to make the pinstripes look any nicer than this because, like, let's be honest, people aren't going to be looking at that detail, like, at all. So... I think it's, yeah, it's just usually... Yeah. Ta-da! And then for the plaid...
Ah! Shit. <laughs> Glad. Yeah. It's a good thing Scar's not <laughs> in the bad boys because Skitties would pop the buttons of the cute vest. This is true. Um, I feel like I need to draw a uh, Scar in like a really cute skirt at this point now. Give him, give him the sausage treatment, you know? Of just like, you deserve to be cute as fuck in a skirt. I just, I just think Scar deserves it, you know? Came second in the MCOIT Sexy Man polls. And I just, I just think that he should be baby girled a little more. Be given cute skirts to wear, etc. Yeah, plaid, I don't know. <laughs> sure, you know what? Fuck it. Base, base colors. It's safe. I mean, he didn't come in second uh, for there not to be fan art of him in dresses. Exactly. Scarling on a picnic blanket in a sundress eating sandwiches with jelly. Yes. If someone has to be the leader of the Scar baby girl propaganda train, I mean, oh no, how about the, like, what, what, what is the, what do you think my response is going to be? Like, <laughs> all right, now, here comes the interesting part. I think I'm just dead ass just going to make three versions of this. I'm going to go one by one and just erase each layer of the other two characters. So we're going to start with Joel. Oh, no, my skitties fan art fell out of my pocket. Oh, no. Listen, I've I've drawn I've drawn so much skitties art. Great. Amen. Now. Joel, we want green. Oh, good God. There's green and then there's piss. <laughs> mm. what is this actually this one's cute as fuck I'm not even gonna lie uh, this is also cute but it only really works for Joel in this mm. oh yeah let me just use my lesbians uh, gradient uh, what about that oh that's the one I use for Martin Hmm, I could modify it a little bit. Let's see what some of the others are. This one. It's like an olive more than anything. What about this? Oh, that is, that is green. Hold up, if I lower that saturation a bit. That looks a bit better. I could live with this. I could I could live with that for Joel. All right, we're going to stick with that for Joel. Oh, yeah, so I'm not actually coloring any of this. So this is a technique called uh, gradient mapping. Gradient mapping is essentially, so you do something like this and it takes the value of the color. So like if it's like really close to white up here or if it's really close to black down here and it assigns it, uh, it's like you take a gradient. So let's take, I'll even show it off. Uh, I'll use this rainbow gradient you see down here. And so it assigns uh, different values to different parts of the gradient scale. So 
down on I need to actually be on the correct layer. <laughs> Tunnel correction. Gradient map all the way at the bottom. So if we go to uh, the rainbow one, this is what it would look. That is nightmarish. Um, <laughs> but like on the far uh, on the far right, which is where the white value would be. That's where the red is. So anything that's light colored is closer to this end of the spectrum, which is why all their skin is purple. And the darker it gets, it just goes through this this uh, spectrum, you know? So then if I do like a midnight, <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I think I might use a sunset one for Jimmy. Let me see if I can find a good one. Yeah, it's super, super convenient. It's very helpful when you just want to color in something very quickly. I do have this one. Maybe swap this here and that here. I add like pure almost white right at the top. There we go. There's a bit of a nicer pop. That's actually not too bad for Jimmy. Hmm. Hmm. It is very fitting of, of uh, our dear Goyle. And then for Joel, which I'm going to recolor his, uh, the green streak in his hair. And then for Jimmy. And then lastly, for Grian. So we need a red gradient now, which I have quite a few of those. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, gradient mapping is something extremely helpful, especially for... Uh, someone who's disabled, such as myself, and it's just like, hey, I, I did part of the work and the rest is just this fun little technique, you know? Mm, it's too yellow. Um, saves a lot of time and it lets me actually kind of get the art to a level that I like, rather than just kind of leaving it. Oh my god, what in the strawberry shortcake? Um... What? This one isn't too bad if it wanted for this being yellow. Yeah, that's a bit better. Oh god. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Ronnie keeps stripping me. Morgan! Morgan! <laughs> In a card game. <laughs> oh, goodness. Y'all, you're seeing it live here on my stream. My wife is being stolen from me. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of close to what I had before. If I get rid of that. What are you laughing at? I think this actually works well for, for Grian. I think I might make that yellow a little more. They forgot to set an active hermit and ran out of time, so I won. Oh no. Morgan, change your name to Mr. Steal your girl. You have to. Morgan, Morgan, you gotta. Morgan, you gotta. <laughs> Live on the Foxology channel, my wife is being stolen at, from me, right from under my nose. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Oh no. Hmm. Let me change this color so it's a little less pink. I don't want it to feel too pink. Yeah, there we go. That kind of more fiery color rather than like a pinkish. That's perfect. Perfect. All right. Yeah, let's go. All right, cool, 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 cool. I kind of love that. I kind of love that. I'm actually going to duplicate these three layers just to have a just to have an additional copy of them. All right. Now. We must perform a little bit of surgery. It would be Mr. Yoko. <laughs> oh, fortunately, this is the only overlap for Joel. Ah, fuck. That's okay. 
<laughs> it's okay. Let's go like that. There we go. We have green. Let's now do yellow. Yeah, and this is the one that needs a bit more precision. Do, 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 do. And pop. There we go. And then we just do a little bit of cleanup on the intercept intersections. Look at them. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh, this is great. This is so great. Now I need to fix this because it's just annoying me at this point. The sillies, the queens, the ding nuts, the beloveds. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, cool. So mm, now do I do some shading on this? Actually, now that they're, do I have like a white, a whitish, like a light colored background or a dark colored background. You know what? I think, I think I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna give them a spotlight. Obviously. Ah, not what I meant. I want it to actually be symmetrical. Spotlight. Gotta give it that gauge and blur. Now, I could very much give them like a shadow i could i very much could. and it doesn't even have to be like a super defined one because like oh you know what i could do you know what i could do check this shit out this is something that is frequently used in animation where you take the entire main layer, you duplicate it, you stick it on multiply, and then hit transform, and then you just kind of drop it a little bit to give it a fake rim light, and then apply a clip layer. Ta-da! Instant. Instant shit. Welcome to the Foxology channel, the channel full of time savers. For art. There are going to be spots where it doesn't entirely make sense, but that's where you can just go and fix them yourself. But man, this shit is such a time saver and is very, very helpful for just getting stuff done quick. I 
I've been trying. Oh, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Manually drawn rim lighting is always going to look nicer than this. It's always going to look nicer and it's going to be more accurate. This is a fast shortcut for if it's you don't exactly care too much what it's going to look like. And it's more than anything just a basis. This is just what you use as a bit of a an outline, if anything. The rest is you. But I like shortcuts. Yeah, so that's exactly what this is for. Yeah, it's very much the, the understanding of this isn't a replacement, but man, is it a great fucking shortcut. Oh, and something that I will also be doing is adding a uh, reflective light. Especially for something like this, that is very, very nice. Uh, I'm also going to make the core of the shadow a little darker using just like a, a soft brush, just kind of doing like that. Just like that. Mm, don't want to do too much though. I want to make parts pop, but it's very obvious with the yellow from Jimmy. The other colors, you can kind of get away with it. Especially because it's a gray shadow, it, it really desaturates it a lot. Yeah, it's also the thing of, it's always very tempting to then like add a, a secondary shadow almost. You are so welcome. <laughs> Oh, it's saving. Give me a moment. Save. Yeah, like under the chin or just like under the hair around the eyes. The kind of spot I would I would like to put these kinds of secondary shadows just to help it pop a little more. Because then also, when you put the reflective light, it really does, like, make it pop more, that it's like, oh, there is a contrast here. Shortcuts are pog, indeed. I'm going to use a yellow for the reflow. Oh, that's a big size brush. For reflective stuff, I like to do, um, let's actually lower that. Uh, do like a, usually the same color as the main light source, but like a little more dull and on an overlay layer, just kind of on the bottom of everything as if it's like reflecting off of the off of the stage in the sense in this particular case just to just to give it more 3d volume with some colors you gotta you gotta adjust it with different uh colors that you're doing it on but like like with this one it works really well because this kind of green you know it takes a overlay very well as opposed to reds which can sometimes be very finicky then like with this yellow I have to kind of lower it so it's not as bright.
Ta da! <laughs> but yeah, that that kind of <sighs> just just a little bit of that, and it helps bring life. Now, I do also want to do some, like, extra rim lighting, just because it is such a fucking stark white light. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to change the shadow to just be colored. I think I might color them based off of uh, each person, kind of. So let's... First of all... Ah. Now, let's see if I can actually get this to work. Worst case scenario, I know what I can do for this. Oh, no. Ah, wrong layer. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there we go. That is a little more of the desired effect. Just so it's not completely dull. Yeah. As opposed to this, where a lot of the color is drained, adding just a little bit of a colored shadow really does help. All right. Cool. No, no, don't do that. Ah, no, no. There we go. That's what I wanted. Just the shadow, because I didn't want to affect any of the colors underneath. Ooh. 
Woof. There we go. And now we can just adjust by saturation. Ah, ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. Let me get this color on Green's shoulders as well, just to help that pop. And then I'm, uh, I'm honestly just gonna call it done. Before I get too nitpicky on it. <sighs> yeah. We're calling it there. Woo! I'm gonna put this signature. I'm gonna choose this color and then put it like off to the side or something. You know what? I'll put it like across their legs. Yep, just Faxology and then. I can write my own name. I can, I promise. There we go. That's spelt right, right guys? There we go. I think I might uh, duplicate it just as a bit, yeah. Eh. Lower that a bit. Yeah, just like that. Just a little bit more. Awesome. This is so silly. I think this is one of the silliest things I've drawn in a in a hot second. Which is saying something. But uh Hmm. Should I make a drop shadow for them? So like similarish process. Let's actually not use the total dark. But just kind of just whoop. Yeah. I think that looks okay. Maybe. It's fine. Technically, that's not how the light works. No, that's not how the light works, and now that's bothering me. Fuck. Hold on. We're going to do it the correct way. Yeah, because it would be long shadows, wouldn't it? Way stretched out. You know what? It would actually be easier to do it manually. It's a thing of like, I'm done, wait, no. I'm done, wait, no. <laughs> it's always like this, though. There we go. That's more accurate. Now I'm okay with it. All right, we're calling it done. <laughs> Yippee! That was silly. I'm gonna hit export. And I'm gonna stick this on the Discord. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a blast and let me on the Discord, the Discord, the, the dis, dis, Discord, Discord, our gang. There we go. All right, cool. Huh. Good stream, good stream, everyone. Uh, I might scatter you all to the winds. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see if anyone I know is live. Oh fuck! You know what, Eichmann? I'm sending you guys to Eichmann. What is Eichmann up to? Please don't tell me he's ending. Please don't tell me he's ending. Please don't tell me he's ending. That would be really embarrassing. Fuck ads. Ah, uh, why now? I don't think he's ending. Probably not. One can hope. 
Uh, but I think I'll send you guys over to Eichmann. Eichmann is an incredible artist. Whoosh! Wind noises! <laughs> Ronnie's bullying me! Oh no! <laughs> I've, I've been on the receiving end of Ronnie's bullying, so I know what it's like. My, my sympathy to you. Let's see. Okay, finally. Oh, they're drawing a cute little character right now. Alright, yeah, I'm sending you guys over to Eichmann. Give him lots of love from me. Uh, you guys have uh, been wonderful this evening. I loved hanging out. Uh, I will see you all next Wednesday. I'll be doing more commissions and all of that good stuff. And what else? Uh, I'll be making more announcements on the Discord. So if you're over 18, you can do exclamation mark Discord and join the Discord for all of the updates of whatnot of like me kind of not fully moving away from TikTok, but like I'm kind of weaning off of it. Uh, stuff like that. So 